Hey guys, welcome back to new tutorial on how to create option menu in Android using Kotlin. So if you want to create a beautiful three dots menu in your action bar, and if you click on that, a pop-up menu will appear and you can select an item in the menu. And also I'll be showing you how to nest a menu inside the menu. So if you click on more options, as you can see, a new pop-up menu replace the original menu. And now you have submenu items. And if you click any of the items, we will be identifying which item has been clicked. So if you click on submenu one, as you can see, we have a toast message, submenu one has been clicked. So if this is what you are looking for, don't worry, I've got your back. Let's create a new project and start on coding. All right guys, so once you have created your new project, you will end up having two files and we will not be dealing with the main activity layout because we will be creating an option menu in the action bar only. However, we will put our logic in main activity.kotlin. So we definitely need this. And to create your option menu, you need to go to resources, right click on that and then new, and then create a new Android resource directory. And once you click on that, you need to change the resource type to menu and name your directory to menu as well. And click on okay. So once you have a menu directory, right click on that and then go to new and then you need to create a menu resource file and just name your file menu to menu and click on OK. So once you have menu.xml, click on split and then hide this for a moment so that we write our code here. So first you need to create an item inside your menu. So just write item and then you need to provide an ID to it. So the ID would be item one and then you need to provide a title to it and the title would be item one. And as you can see, we have created our first item and just close that. So you need to create your second item. So item and then provide an ID to it. And the ID would be item two. And you need to provide title to it as well. So item two. And once you have done that, you need to close your item tag. All right, so once we have two items, now we need to create more option item that has two more sub items. So we need to have item and then close this so that we can have open and closing item tags. And you need to provide the attributes for your items. So we have an ID and the ID would be item three and the title would be more options. And once you have done that, you need to create a new menu. And in the menu, we will have group of items. So group and then close this as well. And in the group, you can have as many items as you want. So we will have item and then the ID for the item would be submenu one and the title would be submenu item one. And then you can close this and have a different item and then provide an ID to it. The ID would be submenu two and then the title would be submenu item two and close that. All right guys, so once you have created your option menu, you need to go to mainactivity.kotlin so that you inflate your menu. So right underneath on create method, you need to overwrite on create option menu and then remove this for a moment and then you need to create your inflator object so val inflator and then the type would be menu inflator and set it to menu inflator and then inflate your menu with your inflator object so inflator dot inflate so you'll have resources dot menu dot menu and then you need to pass the menu to it and do not forget we have the boolean return type so just return true so this actually will inflate your menu options in your action bar. So if you want your app to see the result, all right guys, so we have successfully created the three dot menu. And if you click on that, a pop-up menu will appear. So if you click on that, a new pop-up menu will replace the original menu. And if you click any of these items, nothing will happen because we have not created any function to identify which item in the menu has been selected. So let's do that. All right, so right underneath on create options menu, you need to overwrite on option item selected. So on option item selected and just remove this. And then you need to identify which item has been selected and then return that. So return and then when, and now we need to get the ID of the selected item. So item dot item ID. So once you have the selected ID, we need to check which ID has been selected. So you can pretty much refer to the item ID. So resources dot ID. And if item one has been selected, and you can show your toast message and return true. So toast and then make text and then this and then have your message here. 
So item one has been selected. And then have the toast again, and then the length is long and show your message. And the reason we have a red line is because we don't have an else branch. So just add your branch. So go with super and then on option item selected and the item will be passed to it. So once you have your first item ready, just copy this for your second item. And for your second item, just change this item one to two and then change this to two as well. And that's it. And paste it one more time and change this to sub menu one. And obviously you need to change this to sub menu one and paste it one more time and change this to sub menu two and change this one to two. And once you have done that, just run your app one more time. All right, so if you click on the menu and select any item, so let's click item two. As you can see, item two has been selected. And even if you go to more options and select um, sub menu item one, as you can see, item sub menu one has been selected. All right, guys, we have done it. If this was your first time here and you want to learn how to build mobile applications, web development and programming tutorials in general, please consider subscribing and click on the bell notification so that you do not miss on anything. So see you guys in the next video and happy coding.